One of the scientists who stood alongside Boris Johnson in those COVID briefings night after night during the pandemic has questioned how much the then Prime Minister understood of what was actually going on. Chief Scientific Advisor at the time, Sir Patrick Vallance, wrote in his diaries back then that Mr Johnson was bamboozled by the graphs and data. Today, he pointed out that Mr Johnson had given up science at 15. Rishi Sunak didn't escape unscathed either. In startling testimony before the COVID inquiry, Sir Patrick said he was never consulted about Mr Sunak's eat out to help out plan. They were the scientists who came out of the shadows and into the harsh spotlight of the pandemic. Sir Patrick Vallance and Sir Chris Whitty provided the scientific credibility for Boris Johnson's decisions. We are guided by the science. That might have been the mantra. Now we learn from the former chief scientific advisor, it was hard to get Boris Johnson to even understand the science. Well, I, I think I'm right in saying that the Prime Minister at the time gave up science when he was 15. And I think he'd be the first to admit it wasn't his forte. His language always measured we might never have known exactly what Sir Patrick thought if he hadn't written a diary each night documenting his increasing frustration. On the 4th of May 2020, he writes, The PM is clearly bamboozled. The following month, watching the PM get his head around stats is awful then by September, that Boris Johnson looked broken, head in hands a lot, saying maybe we're licked as a species. I do not think that there was necessarily a unique inability to grasp some of these concepts with the Prime Minister at the time, but it was hard work sometimes to try and make sure that he had understood. Mr Johnson, it hardly needs saying, was the man who was making decisions that had incredibly broad impacts on the whole country, and it was critical, was it not, that he did understand the advice that he was being given? Yes. One of the themes this inquiry is looking into is whether lockdowns were brought in at the right time or could have been avoided altogether. Sir Patrick's view is that one of the most important lessons he learnt and expressed repeatedly from the first lockdown is that you had to go earlier than you would like, harder than you would like, and broader than you would like. By October, when cases were rising again, the diaries reveal a Prime Minister oscillating from one position to another over a second lockdown. Writing, PM meeting, he begins to argue for letting it all rip, saying yes, there'll be more casualties, but so be it. They've had a good innings. DC, Dominic Cummings says, Rishi thinks just let people die and that's OK. Three days later, Sir Patrick writes, we have a weak, indecisive PM. It was definitely a late night moment of frustration. Um, I do think that the Prime Minister was influenced a lot by the press. Whilst by far the strongest lines in the diaries relate to Boris Johnson, Sir Patrick also noted Rishi Sunak's eat out to help out scheme was highly likely to have increased COVID deaths and agreed Matt Hancock said things that weren't true. The government's most senior scientist and late night diarist wielded a powerful pen. Romilly Weeks, News at 10.